He was enrolled at Will Prep, and I'm disappointed, and he's disappointed that it is an opening. I think what's important is, I mean, I think that there are a lot of stories that are still yet to be told about this issue, and um, what is really important is that we don't lose sight of all of the hope and inspiration that was created when the, the idea first came out, and people were so energized about the possibilities. I think it's important that amongst all of this chaos that we cling tightly to the hope that's still there and still available in our community to kind of rise up and, and make sure that our kids get what they deserve as far as the arts and a new way of doing things that, that really respects and nurtures their culture. I still think that these things are possible, but it's that now without any money for the school, it's going to take us as community members to really step up and still make that happen. We can't just depend on our anger and our disappointment and our you know, um, bad feelings about all of this, and they are definitely justified. But I think at the same time, we really need to think about how can we really reclaim the hope and the good feeling that we had about the whole idea, and how can we still implement parts of it. There's so many people in the community who have talents who can give back, and we can start that process uh, and build from there. How did you learn about the problems the school was having? There was an email that went out before the article, um, just talking to some of the parents and letting them know that there was an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, things started showing up on Facebook, and uh, then it just kind of went viral. But uh, it was it was only recently that things started to kind of leak out that it, everything wasn't right. Did you get a call from the school district? No, I never did. Some no, some some people got emails, but. I never got a call, I never got an email or anything, and I was I was one of the, I think, one of the first to kind of sign up because I was really excited about the idea. And I have two, I have twin boys, and it was good for one but not for the other. And so I signed up one and he, you know, he was ready to go. A lot of his friends from Wilson had signed up and transferred over, you know, and he was ready to make, you know, to have this experience that we kind of built up would be there for him. Um, so it's like everyone else, it's been dribbling out the information, hasn't been consistently uh, and respectfully handed out.